That's right. <laughs> or blanket cord. So before I close in the front. Ah! This is my ah! Outside and this is Hi guys, welcome to a day in the life with Autumn. It is Saturday, it is 10.30 already and Autumn just woke up. So we are going to get our day started. I've been wanting to style Autumn's hair so that's what I'm going to do. Autumn is just drinking water right now from our new tumbler cup from my shop. So I added four new designs to my tumbler cup so if you would like to purchase one I'll leave the link in the description. So I begin by separating half of her hair. As you can see, I put the top of her hair up. And now I'm going to start curling her hair. So this is how I curl her hair. The curls look a little tight, but I will brush them out and it will end up looking like waves. Autumn is going to be wearing this white top and this leggings here. Love it. Now she's going to need a little body spray. <laughs> so Autumn loves hanging out in this swing. This is the book she is reading right now. Okay guys, so it is like almost 11 now and Autumn is ready for lunch. So I'm going to make her favorite bagel pizza. For this, all you need is a bagel, pepperoni, pizza sauce. You need to preheat your air fryer to 350. And now you're going to add butter to the bagel. Add butter to both slices of the bagel. Now put them in the air fryer at 350 for two minutes so the butter can melt. After the butter has melted, now you're going to put a pepperoni in the middle of the bagel like this so the sauce doesn't fall through the bagel. And you are going to add in your sauce, about a tablespoon of pizza sauce and your mozzarella cheese. You can also add pepperonis if you like them. And now put them back in the air fryer for 4 minutes at 350 degrees. And that is it guys. The pepperonis will fly off the pizza but that's okay. Just put them back on there. <laughs> and this is one of Autumn's favorite like lunches to have on the weekend. It's something easy and it is delicious so definitely try it out. She also had a salad, fruit and water to drink with this. After lunch, we decided to go for a walk since the weather is beautiful outside. No, we gotta run the house. No. Okay, guys, we are back from our walk. We literally walked for like a few minutes and then it started raining. And so I ran back inside the house because I have a very expensive camera. And I was like, I don't want this expensive camera to get wet and ruined. So I ran back in the house and I grabbed Autumn. So you can see how I'm holding her. I literally ran back in the house and grabbed her. And as soon as we got back in the house, guess what? The rain just stopped. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> but that's okay, guys. We are still going to have a fun day, aren't we? We are Autumn? going to build a blanket fort and have a movie night. That's right. <laughs> now I'm going to build a gigantic, at least I'm going to try, okay? <laughs> I want to build a big blanket board so we can have a movie night. So let's get started. I'm going to begin by moving this table. Oh my gosh, this thing is so heavy. I had to call my big bag husband in to help me with this. <laughs> okay guys, I'm going to move both of these sofas closer together. So you're supposed to use blankets for this, but I think sheets may work a little better for what I'm thinking. New sheets, yes. <laughs> Ooh, I stink. Okay, there's like an entrance here. So I'm going to cover this side up and the entrance will be on the other side. My son added in this FNAF blanket. So I'm going to add a few more blankets and pillows here. We kind of need taller ceilings here. So I'm going to add this broomstick. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. And my son gave me this rope. Tie this here so it doesn't fall. Let's see if it works. Oh, no way, it actually worked. <laughs> I went upstairs and I found some LEDs. I'm thinking some LEDs right here in the entrance will make 
or blanket cord just look more awesome. Stanchion cord, oh, it worked! I'm going to use the clothespins to keep the LED lights on the tent like this. Now, the clothespins are good for the blanket cord. I know people are gonna be like, you're grown. Why are you making a Ford in your house? Guys, well, let me tell you guys, the best part of becoming an adult is the fact that you have your own house and you can do whatever you want. You don't have your mom telling you, don't make a mess. So yeah, I am a grown up, but I will be making a blanket fort in my house because it's my house. So if I wanna make a mess, I can. That's one of the nice things about being a grown up. Like I recently just spent almost $2,000, maybe not that much. I think I was like 16, 17, $1,800 on a really expensive doll and yeah that's a lot of money like if i was a child and i asked my mom to buy that she would have been like no 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 but since i'm an adult i can do that <laughs> okay i'm going to make this a little bit taller here the clothespins really helped keep this together guys so definitely use the clothespins this turned out amazing if i do say so myself <laughs> no! No! Our blanket board literally just collapsed. So I added more clothespins and it worked out really well. Look at that. Love it. So before I close in the front entrance, I want to put one more blanket in here and make it super cozy. So we can have a movie night here. So this is like super cozy. It is raining outside. It is literally about to be dark outside. And this is like the perfect time to have this blanket fort. So I already closed the front entrance. Now I'm going to give you guys like a tour. Coming in. Okay, so this is what it looks like in here. There's Autumn. Right now we are watching Mr. Beast. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah, that's our favorite YouTuber. Here we have some games, chess, Monopoly, bingo, which I love to play bingo. Uh, we have our mini fridge with snacks. We are kind of snack poor right now, guys. I should have went to the gas station and grabbed a bunch of snacks. Yeah, but anyway, we have just a few snacks in our little mini fridge here, so. Very cozy, very cozy. I love blanket forts, they're so much fun. Give this video a like if you guys like blanket forts and I will build a bigger one next time. Okay guys, now we are going to make popcorn the old fashioned way. Here I have popcorn kernels. Uh, this is my second time making popcorn like this. I always just made it using the bags that you microwave, but this, it just tastes better honestly. Not as crunchy though, but you know, I kind of like it and plus I'm out of the Microwaveable popcorn, so we're going to cook this. Wish me good luck because my cooking usually ends up like this. We're going to need a bowl for the popcorn. Okay, so first we need to add three tablespoons of oil to the pan. One third of a cup of the popcorn kernels. Oh, it's starting to pop now. My Look. To me, this is like entertaining, okay? Yeah, pop it. Look pop. at all that. Look at that. It's popping. Pop I think it's done. Ah! It's too smoky. Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, oh man. <laughs> this popcorn doesn't have much flavor. I honestly like it like this by itself without anything added onto it. But now this stuff right here is really good. My family and I really like it. It's like this little butter salt stuff. I collect this little popcorn salt because I really like popcorn. I'm also going to make some noodles. I usually like these spicy shrimp noodles. I'm Mexican, so I love like really spicy food. Anyway, I know that this is super unhealthy, guys, but I do not eat this way every day. This is a every once in the blue moon, maybe more like once a week. 
But anyway, I like to eat candy. I'll go to Dollar Tree and get like candy and have like a movie night here at the house. Now this is living the life here. <laughs> for me, for me. This is what I enjoy. I'm a homebody. And I love, I enjoy romanticizing my life. I guess it's what people call it, you know? So does my son. My son loves romanticizing life. Like the other day we made pizza while listening to Italian music. Okay guys, let me know in the comments what you like to do for fun. Are you a homebody or do you like to go out and hang out? What do you like to do for fun? Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give this video a like and subscribe. And make sure to check out one of those videos here on the screen. Bye!